another plate and taste it. And hurry up, I'm hungry. He had to taste it because he had to make sure that there wasn't any poison in it so that the queen will not die. Poison. And Mr. Neji ate the poison. And the Queen's life was spared. The end. Everyone give our actors a hand. <laughs> to be continued. Uh, no. Right over here. Oh, okay. Oh, bye, bye. This was just part one. Part two. And one day after Mehi Ji had seemingly died, he woke up to realize that that was just a dream. They're alive? <laughs> and now, all of a sudden, well, Mehi Ji, although he was uh, very caged up in this place, he actually liked, he enjoyed serving in the palace. He had a good life, he had good food, he had an awesome uh, master to serve. And one day, God called out to Neheji in, a, in his mind and said, Neheji, I want you to go back to your homeland and I want you to rebuild the city. The walls in your old home. And Neji was kind of shocked. And he told God, God, why? Why? I want to be free from all the troubles back home. I want to stay here. I don't want to go back home. I'm comfortable being here. I'm comfortable being here. I want to be here. I want to stay here. I'm free from harm over here. So guys, what do you think Neheji should do? Was he truly free here? No! He's not free from slavery. Yeah, that's good. Well, he may think that he's free, but he was free from obeying God's will. We all know we have to obey God's will. Whoever does not obey God's will will suffer as a result. And Neheji remembered what his parents had told him. And they had told him when he was a cute little baby G, <laughs> when they had cradled him, they had always told him, freedom is the power to do what is right, not what you want. And when he remembered that, he was thinking, okay, how am I going to tell the queen this news? Is she really going to let me go back and rebuild the walls? God, if this is your will, please protect me. God, if this is your will, please protect me. From this powerful queen of spades. Powerful queen of spades. And with that, he pulled up his pants, rolled up his sleeves, folded his napkin, his apron, <laughs> adjusted his hair, and he marched into the presence of the queen. Backwards, so as not to offend Her Majesty. Yes, thank you, What are you doing on your... Kneel! Kneel! Kneel before the Queen! Oh, what are you all doing sitting? Kneel! Kneel! Oh, no!
have not brought me food. You have not brought my bow and arrows. You didn't bring the dart, Lord. You didn't bring the slithering snakes to perform. What do you want? I'm here to ask a request from you. Say that again. I'm here to ask you a request. Your order. <laughs> a request? And when she heard that, she was afraid of God. And she knew that the God of Nehiji's people was real. And she thought to herself, wow, if God really wanted Nehiji to go back and build his most I better not stop him. I should help him. Unfreeze. once was serving the slave. And she knew that she didn't want to make God angry. There. Now you're a presentable wall builder. You can represent my country very well. Go back to your homeland and rebuild the wall. Thank you. All resources that you need are at your disposal. Go. And he went the other way. <laughs> and as they went back, as Neiji went to prepare the equipment that he needed for the wall, oops, sorry. as he went to prepare the equipment for the, uh, for the wall, the Mr. Storyteller needed some volunteers. And he needed four volunteers. One. Two. Three. Four. Maybe one more. Hmm. Five. Maybe the next story we'll have more volunteers. And so, the resources were gathered Trinity, and he bundled them all together and he arrived back at his city gates and he saw this mess. So he made them sit down. Like resources can sit down and they eventually did. And he started to build them with his hammer like this. And he started to build a wall slowly by slowly. Now as he was building these walls, all of a sudden, Neji's worst fears came true. You see, Neji had always feared in his heart that there might be enemies. There might be barbarians lurking around in the darkness. And he was afraid to build a wall if there were barbarians coming along, lest they should kill him. And that would be the end of his life. And sure enough, one day, there was a thundering sound and barbarians emerged from nowhere. And they came. And they came with fury. They were not happy. 
with Nicky G and his work, out they came. <laughs> Which 
Ask your prayer. Amen. Amen. When you are done, you may arise. 